everybody, this is Felicia and welcome to my channel. Yes, yes, I know, I haven't been here. Um, so, as mid-month, it's July, and I was trying to get a monthly reset for July, but I ended up not doing it. Um, I just, there's some things that's going on. I hope you enjoyed my little coffee montage, because, you know, I have to sit here and I have to get my coffee going here you know, for me to be able to talk with you guys. Not really, but anyway. All right. So, we are in mid-month July. I have been super busy. I just came back from Vegas for about five days. I was there for five days. And Los Angeles, and I was there for about eight days. Um, so, I am back. Um, and I'm getting my my stuff together here, but I did want to go everybody knows it's mid-year Kind of recap on some of the stuff that I've accomplished this year some of the goals I've hit some of the things I've done um, Yeah, so I just want to do that with you guys. So um, So we're going to I see let's see I have and then I also want to score something so first thing you know, I entered this year's school. This was my last semester uh, earlier this year and I did that and came out of there with flying colors. I got two A's and one B uh, well, Actually B plus um, so I did really well. I was able to maintain and keep my honor status um, I also uh, Joined a law fraternity uh, Called pad and I need to do that because the you know, guys know that I am prepping to go to law school I did break the news that I wasn't going to go to law school until next year because I really want to give myself a chance To study for the LSAT. So that's that um, I have increased my exercise and my exercise goals And I don't know if you can tell but I've been really kind of getting myself together and uh, oh how you like my shirt? This is from skims. This is the boyfriend tee and I have a large, so it's pretty loose on me. Um, it's very comfortable because, you know, I just, you know, enjoy wearing these these things. Um, that was a little side note. <laughs> so, um, of course, you know, I increased my water intake. Oh, that was my phone. Um, so, um, I, we'll see. So, there's some other things that I accomplished this year. Some goals that I was able to get done. Um, I registered for my LSAC and that is a program that helps you and prepares you and pretty much you register with them so that you could be able to taste the LSAT. Now a lot of people are like, what's the difference between the LSAC and the LSAT? Well, that takes a little bit of an explanation so I'll be explaining that more so in another video but in the meantime, we're going to um, keep going here so that I can keep on track. I increase my water intake. I went to a spa for the first time in my life here during spring break, which I did enjoy. Um, I went to Sephora for the first time here. <laughs> I've never been to Sephora. That was my first time going when you saw that haul that I did. Um, I gave out journaling tips. I um, give you some ideas of me preparing for law school and things like that. So. Um, those are the little smaller goals and monumental things that I've been able to do this year and for the first six months of this year It seemed like this first six months of this year just just went by like that. It was just so quick um, so um, And then uh, let me see so then um, there are some um, things here that I was also able to accomplish of course did graduation graduated and everything um, had a graduation photo shoot, had a graduation party, um, and I have relatives that I came down across the country to see me, and I was just super excited about that. I was on such a high that during that whole entire time. It was just insane how much of a high I was on. So it was great. I did all of those things for the first six months of the year. I had a very busy first six months of the year. Now it's time for me to settle and kind of buckle down to get ready and prepare myself for classes for my um so i can take my lsat so that i can get into law school so that's what i have to buckle down on um i've been able to enjoy some reading um i'm really stoked about that um i have uh, some books here that i wanted to show you that i've read um one this is one of the books that i've read is called the subtle art of not given a anyway so we've read that 
and the author, uh, which is Mark Manson. Now, you may think that because of the title that it's like, oh my God, you know, but it's actually not. It has a lot to do with resilience, happiness, and freedom. And it comes from knowing and caring about what is the most important in, in things and putting that up front and things like that. Um, it is very, it, it, it's like a slap in the face, almost like, because I, it's like reality check almost. It's like, okay, you care, but you know, you know, you got a life to lead. You know, you don't want that leech on your back. You don't want that person who's trying to, um, they say they are, we're friends, but they don't value your opinions, you know, or they gaslight you or, you know, things like that. So this book is a must read for people who have friends who are not supportive, friends who kind of try to take them down, you know, and friends who are narcissistic, you know, things like that. This book is for you. This is a very good book. I, I enjoyed reading that. I also enjoyed reading the book called Skin of the Sea. This is very, very well written. I love this. This is about a mermaid um, um, who actually is about a former mermaid who was captured at, on a slave ship. Uh, not a former, but she was, she, was, she was a former slave, but she was captured on a slave ship, but then she was tossed into the sea, and she became this mermaid. They rescued her and stuff like that, and so, um, and her job is to take the souls who were tossed over or who f jump over the slave ships and to comfort them and take them into the next life, but then she gets mixed up and makes a mistake, and doesn't do that with one of the lives and I can't really tell you but it's it's really kept me going on this book right here so I was <laughs> really excited about that and then of course I read my girl Tabitha Brown and those of you who know I speak about her often throughout my videos um, this woman is my gosh I can't even begin to tell you how much this woman has made an influence on even just me in my life um, she just, and then in this, in her book, she has recipes and stuff, little, little recipes throughout her book that you can, um, actually use and they taste great. I already did a couple of them and they are awesome. I mean, and she's a vegan. She's a very successful. She is a actress or a writer now. Um, and she has her own YouTube channel and she is just a social media icon right about now. So this is my girl, Tabitha Brown. And. I'm really excited about having to read her book. Uh, these are the books that I've read in the last few months, by the way. So, and then there was one, and it's on my iPad, that I really like. Now, see, I like fantasy books. Don't get me wrong. I really, really do like fantasy books. But I just had to... I, I'm reading the part of the sequel, too, and I'll tell you what that is. You probably already have an idea of what I'm talking about. But um, there was one book that I read. It's called No Exit. And that, my goodness, uh, that book was just, whew, uh, it was, it was, it started out like really slow and then it began to just amp you up and oh my gosh, it's about this young college girl who finds herself stranded at a visitor center and she ends up being stranded at this visitor center with a known kidnapper, well not known, but with a kidnapper and then the plot twists because, you know, it, it all, you have to read it. I don't want to spoil it for you, but if you ever read No Exit, and the Arthur is, let's see, one, two, three, four, No Exit, and Sarah Nas's book, five books in the last three months. That's what I've done. <laughs> read five books in the last three months. And so now I'll just say that I am on my way to reading. This is, um, Another one, The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. So I am definitely going to be reading this one. I am super stoked about getting into this one. I just got it. Just just today, as a matter of fact. Um, so I'm going to read this one. The soft cover and everything. And this won't take me no time. Now some of my books are on my Kindle app here on my iPad. And then some of them are not. Um, like I said, they're, they're I prefer hard copy, like volume, not hard copy, but uh, the book in my hand to read. Um, I'm just like that. I'm a little bit old school fashion, old fashion or whatever you want to call that on that. So I prefer to have um, the book in my hand, but Taylor Adams.
That's what it was. No Exit by Taylor Adams. So I read that book. Um, that one kept me on the edge of my seat. I actually read that one in th four days. I don't know if that sounds insane. It was only 250 pages, so I read it. You know, I read that one in four days. And the um, only reason why it took me four days is because I got busy. So, but other than that, I was just, it's just, it was a good book. <laughs> it, was, it kept me on the edge of my seat. It's like once I passed a certain part of the book, it was just like I couldn't put it down. I just kept reading, 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 reading. And that's what I like about books when I get a hold of them. So, that's it. I do have some goals for this year, so we're going to go ahead and get started on some goals for the, uh, not this year, I'm sorry, for this month. Um, I told you I was going to exercise three days a week. Well, I'm going to increase that to four days a week. Um, my diet has tightened up a little bit, not a whole lot. I still allow myself the occasional chocolate chip cookie as long as I make it myself at home. I had to stay away from crumble, and I don't go there, and... Um, I just decided that, you know what, I'm not going to prevent myself from eating anything sweet if that's the case, but I'm not going to overdo it. I'll just put it that way. Let's just say that. Okay, so I'm not going to overdo it. Okay, so um, anyway, so we have that, and then, um, uh, so that's one of the goals that I have written down here. And then another one of my goals is, so, I'm um, sorry about that. So, um, I have some goals, so I want to gain new subscribers. Um, I did gain some within the last few months. I gained seven, which is not a whole lot. I know to some of you who have like hundreds and thousands of them, but um, it's, it's growing. My channel is growing. It's growing little by little. I'm just trying to figure out what, you know, I, I'm going to document life. I'm going to document my life. And I'm document. if you're interested in documenting your life, I would say just go ahead and do it. I mean, I'm not trying to be an influencer. I'm not trying to be, um, uh, I don't know what else, what else you would call it, but I'm not trying to be, I'm just trying to document life because I want to leave something behind. And with that said, um, I am going to be working on some merch stuff. I know my channel was not that big, but I do have some merch stuff. And that was one of my other things that I wanted to get done this month is have my prototype all done and completely ready to go to print and so that's what I wanted to do for that so that's what I'm working on as well uh, I think I have just briefly said everything that I needed to say this is not a super long video by 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 any means um, but I do want to say that I will I, I know I missed the monthly reset for June and I know I missed the monthly reset for this month but I like I said I'm just not sure if I want to do a monthly reset every month but we'll see all right so now my last thing I do want to discuss with you guys is journaling now a lot of people don't journal and they think it's a big hassle they think it's a big chore and they think it's just not for them but if you can text you can journal simple so um and I know people say, well, that's not the same. Well, it is the same because you're texting information back and forth and you're sending information about maybe something that's happened to you, something that's going to happen to you, or just communication. That's the same thing. That's exactly what journaling is. It's, it's journaling what happened to you, something that's going to happen to you, or expressing your feelings, just like you do in a text. So if you can text, you can journal. So I'm just trying to keep it as simple as possible. Um, hopefully, if things go according to plan, I will be showing people more so how to journal. And for those who want to journal on an everyday basis, those who want to keep track of their life, make it a memoirs thing, you know, just, you know, something in that era, I can show and teach how I do it. And then kind of like go through there. I, I have my my planner here, my bullet journal, and I kid you not, if something, I usually will put like this, if something happened that day that I want to remember, I will definitely jot it down. If I have feelings of something that I don't feel good about, or something that I do feel good about, or something that I just pretty much want to just express, I will write it down. This is what we call memoirs, because you're writing down your thoughts, the events, 
and things that could happen or future things that you just want to talk about. A lot of people think it's hard, hard, hard. It's not hard. Get a separate, you don't have to do it like I do. I mean, I'll be honest with you, when I really have a whole lot to say, I have a totally separate journal for that. And that's exactly what I do. So the journaling is, is awesome because you can look back on it and say, oh, okay, so that's what happened. Sometimes it'll give you clues as to, you know, something that may happen in your life or, 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 or something that you forgot about or something like that. But I can't really begin to tell you how long I've been journaling because it's been a while. But it's, it's part of who I am. And that's one of the things that I just wanted to get across and to, and to, you know, get. So maybe I'll get a video out here again on journaling. I did um, kind of put a video out on journaling earlier this year, which I really enjoyed doing because it, it gave me a chance to really um, share how much my love for journaling because I, I'm a journaler. I mean, I, I can't really say I, there's not a day. Almost not a day that goes by that I don't jot something down uh, in my calendar. And I usually put it under the date for me in here if it's something small. You know, if it's something that I really, really want to uh, share my thoughts on, I will grab my thicker journal. And I think, I've, I believe I've showed that journal here. I can give you a little clip of what it looks like here. It is beautiful. And I like writing in it. And I use a fountain pen because, man, I just feel fancy. It's no real good reason. I just feel fancy doing it. So, But if you really want to take the time out to learn how to journal, we can start with that. We can have some journal prompts. I can show you how to just, you know, because believe it or not, everybody has something to share about what's going on in their lives. You may not think so. You might say, oh, my life is boring. Oh, my life is this. Oh, my life is that. But that's not necessarily so. There's something that's going on. Even what's going on upstairs in your head there, you know, you can jot it down. So... I encourage journaling. I encourage journaling among, I mean, everybody that I meet, I encourage them to journal and jot down some things. I want to thank you guys for joining me today. Um, I really appreciate it. And I just wanted to get on here and go for the mid-year and things. And I gave you some of my goals for the month of July. So at least I did kind of like a reset for July. Hopefully I can stay on track for August. If I don't, it is not a huge, huge deal. Um, I will get on and I can recap every two months or something like that. You know, it just depends. So um, I want to thank you guys so much for joining me and have a great and wonderful day. And I will be back and with some healthy tips on what I'm doing. And then I'll give you a progress update on health wise and everything, which I am feeling awesome, by the way. So I just thought I'd put that out there. I'm feeling much, much better. Anyway, so guys, um, thank you for so much once again. And have a great and wonderful, wonderful rest of your week, day, month, whatever it may be. Take care, guys. Peace.